Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a, a little video I haven't uploaded in ages but I'll talk a little bit about that more in the um, video and uh, it's a little pack opening that I did for you guys but I do just want to say if you're not already following me on Twitter I would really appreciate it if you went on over um, to Twitter my uh, like tag name my at name it's just at CalFreezy exactly the same as my uh, YouTube so be sure to go on make a Twitter if you haven't made a Twitter then uh, just sort yourself out pretty much go ahead and pick it up and also if you want any ultimate team coins check out utcointraders.com but I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video uh, for some pack opening and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Bye bye Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome and I know you're probably wondering Cal. It's almost been two weeks. Where the f Where have you been and I've actually been uh, like pretty much not a home is the real answer to that I haven't been at home. I, uh, I started off, I went off to an Eminem concert, then I went to uh, Gamescom over in Germany, which I might add was just an awesome, awesome experience. And then I ended up going to Guildford to get some FIFA 14 gameplay. And then I finally got home. I got home uh, yesterday or the day before. So I'm finally back. I'm here to make you guys some videos. But to be honest with you, just staring at this screen is like... Uh, it just makes me feel ill. Like I actually do not want to play this game whatsoever. And you might be like, why is that? Like, why the sudden hate for FIFA 13? And the real reason is because um, I played, I think it was three full days of just capturing and playing FIFA 14, Ultimate Team Career Mode and all that stuff. And it is just, like, it's just so much better. I really much prefer it. So for that reason, you know, I'm not really playing too much FIFA 13. So there might not be a lot of FIFA 13 content up until the 7th of September. Now the 7th of September, is pretty much when the floodgates open for me and a few of the other youtubers who attended the event is when we can upload all of our FIFA 14 gameplay and that is just gonna be awesome I'm really excited to show you guys what I've um, some videos that I made and just kind of give you guys the head start in uh, FIFA 14 ultimate team and kind of show you guys some of the uh, career mode stuff as well if you're a fan of that but that's the team of the week right there and there was actually some really good players there um, some interesting ones for sure but let's go ahead and open up a few packs so it is um, a happy hour at the moment so I believe they're 20 5k packs I can upload te uh, upload sorry um, open up 10 of those so let's see how we got on with those and uh, who knows I haven't uploaded or um, you know even opened uh, FIFA 13 packs in absolutely ages but the first person we get is in fact Ronaldinho now that's not the best thing I've ever heard another weird thing is looking at these cards is so so different compared to what I'm used to because now on uh, FIFA 14 the cards aren't actually cards they are now more just like weird shapes I guess so you can expect a lot of discarding going on on right now but yeah so it does, I don't know it's weird to look at a rectangle instead of uh, the usual sort of weird diamond shape type uh, once they've gotten FIFA 14 but I don't know I, I actually you know, at first thought I was like those are the ugliest cards I've ever seen and then I was actually like you know they're not actually that bad but I should get Lambert there the Southampton player I'll store him in the club and oh my trust me guys on the seventh you're gonna really like a lot of the content I uh, I have for you guys I got a lot of um, Premier League stuff going on I yeah I think you guys are just really enjoy it in general General. Well, I hope you do anyways, and there's gonna be a lot of content to come, so that should all be good. One thing I do want to talk about, uh, I, you know, I was uh, discussed Gamescom. Gamescom was just, oh, like, it was so much fun. I went with myself, Toby, Bateson, um, Nepenthes, and it was just, it was so much fun. Well, ain't that right, Toby? Yeah! Yeah, see, so Toby, that, that was Toby's first ever Gamescom. And uh, he seemed to really enjoy it. I really enjoyed it as well. And if you guys ever get the opportunity to go to something like that, I would highly recommend it. It's just one of those things you got to at least try out. I mean, the queues can sometimes be big, but a lot of times it is worth it. And uh, I played a game over there called Titanfall. Titanfall has got to be just one of the most insane games ever. Seriously, I played so much of that and it was just uh, so much fun to play. So uh, I know that's going to be coming out like spring next year, I want to say. So very much going to be a next gen console um, game so that's something to just keep in mind. I don't know. I want to know about you guys because I know uh, some of my viewers are you know uh, 15 years old and below some people are you know 15 and over so I do just want to ask when the next gen consoles come out Will you be getting one as soon as they come out or is it like because I know a lot of the people they won't have their own uh, You know, you're still at school your job Maybe they're just gonna be way too expensive to get right at the beginning But I'm interested to know what do you guys think to it? Do you think you're just gonna go out and just get them as soon as possible? Or are you just gonna kind of hold on to things and just wait it out and uh, expect the price to drop because I will say guys the content that I do have for you on the 7th is uh, the current generation of um, of gameplay, so there's no next gen. Hopefully, I'll be able to get that to you guys uh, closer to when uh, all that sort of stuff is released. I actually got oh wow, like that is uh, it's just a bad day when your best player in a 25k pack is Kabul. It's just 
it's just it's just not a good day for you um so yeah like i was saying uh yeah, lo yeah it's all current gen stuff but like i said hopefully i will eventually be able to get you guys some next generation gameplay but that'll take a little while and uh yeah that's that another thing is euro gamers coming up i want to know uh how many of you if any of you guys are going to be at euro gamer i really hope to see a bunch of you guys there um if you guys don't know what euro gamer is I, I, there's not much point in me telling you now because i think all the tickets have sold out i believe they've sold all 70,000 tickets which is just incredible um but like oh dude let's dash and Lovren, uh, what was it? Was it? Yeah, I think this. Yeah, in FIFA 13. Yeah, it was my FIFA 13 career uh, QPR career mode. This was one of the centre backs I picked up um, back in the day. He didn't play for Southampton though, um, so this is obviously a transferred card, I'd assume. But yeah, he was a monster and he turned into an absolute beast. But uh, yeah, back to uh, Eurogamer. Eurogamer is kind of like a Gamescom, but on a much smaller scale. But I think there'll be a lot more people going to that than I know because obviously it's in the UK, it's in London, and uh, you know, unfortunately, to those of you guys who didn't get your tickets this year, I would recommend going. Next year because you just get to meet a lot of people there's um if you have any youtubers you'd like to meet meet as well most of them tend to be at this um event look at this shalka right back i don't think i've ever seen him before as well so i'll hold on to him i'm really not too fussed about the players at the moment because like i'm looking through this now and i'm just thinking to myself I can't wait for FIFA 14 ultimate team like looking at this just pains me right now uh Diawara there he is he, he is not 77 pace, I'll tell you that. He is so much more than that. Um, the transfer window has just passed. A few of you guys, especially on Twitter, asked for some of my thoughts on it. I'm going to quickly run through um, just a, a few of it. I've only got two packs left to open, so I'll try and make it quick. But the big ones, obviously, well, the, the two big ones for me were the Ozil to um, Arsenal and, of course, Bale to Real Madrid. Uh, Bale to Real Madrid, it's going to be very interesting to see how he does over there. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I don't know if it's going to be worth that much money, but at the same time, I kind of hope he does really well over there because I'd love to see Real Madrid just playing Bale and Ronaldo and just Benzema. Or just, it's just filth. That team is going to be filth with two of the most incredible wingers in the world on the same team. I, I just I can't wait to watch the uh, Champions League, that's for sure. It's going to be awesome to watch them. And then, uh, yeah, uh, but, and then you have Ozil to Arsenal. Now, a lot of people, uh, for me, I was a little bit confused as to why they picked him up. I almost felt as though they picked him up because they, they just could. They could get Ozil, so they did. Because I already felt as though Santi Cazorla was actually a really good center attacking midfielder. I felt as though there's maybe some other positions they could have strength, uh, uh, you know, taken some strength in, brought in some players from then. But, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, Arsenal fans just wanted a big marquee sort of signing. And that's what they got, really. Um, and I and I, you know I'm not gonna complain you, you no team is gonna complain if you pick up one of the best center attacking midfielders in the world uh, you know he, he is amazing and you're not gonna just say no to that are you so um, I think Arsenal sh fans should be very happy but I don't think it's fully solved all their problems I know that might sound a little bit silly but uh, I don't think their problems ever lied in the center attacking midfield uh, you know role they have uh, they have Wilshire there as well who might not play an attacking midfielder but he's just an all-round really solid central midfielder so yeah I don't I don't know whether Ozil has fixed their problems, but it's certainly made the fans a little bit more, um, I guess, reassured that Wenger is uh, able to spend money because, let's be honest, we haven't seen him shell out money like that in a little while. But, guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you did all enjoy this pack opening. I apologize that it was a little bit uh, long and stretched out, but, uh, yeah, I spent, like, a shit ton of coins, and I probably never play FIFA again, so I might go for an all-out um, full-on pink slips against Toby, but that's another topic. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace. Light up. Bye.